young documentaries, writer, photographer, UNHCR, currently hosting the Atom Aralio Show and Eyewitness and Jimmy. He also hosted the online show Adulting 101, launched last year by Jimmy News Online. Atom will anchor the newscast not from the studio but standing in the middle of Jimmy's social media hub with laptops, computer screens, and journalists that work in the background. He will be both an anchor and an rep active reporter for this program. And of course, Mr. Richard Hay Darian, a young author, former assistant professor at De La Salle University, former lecturer at the Ateneo de Manila, currently political analyst, policy advisor, opinion columnist at the Jazeera English, opinion writer at Nikkei Asian Review, columnist of Horizon, the Philippine Daily Inquirer, and opinion contributor at Forbes. He will represent a data-driven segment showcasing the work of Digital Video Lab, explaining the biggest issues of today, the numbers involved, and history and policies behind it. And of course, Miss Joyce Prim. A musician and former radio jock, she has been vlogging since 2011 and is a writer of, of is a vlogging since 2011 and is a writer, a World Vision Ambassador. She graduated from University of the Philippines and has hosted various programs, including the web series All Access, where she brought viewers behind the scenes of GMA shows and the same competition, of course, The Clash, alongside Andre Paras and backstage hosts. Joyce will be hosting the music segment and other topic topics on fashion, culture, magazine, etc. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I'll introduce a uh, one by one Miss Bea Jim Doy Doc Yogen Yogen, uh, Igorot and radio disc jockey from Baguio. Yeah. Anthony Esguera, a multimedia reporter, uh, fellow New Media and Journalism, Ball State University, Indiana, USA. Asmari Labau, uh, Maranao, intern uh, internally displaced person or backwit from Marawi. Forester and Information Officer, Bangsamor Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, or BARMM, MENRE, Lanao del Sur. And Shai Lagarde, yeah. former TV producer and currently a lifestyle blogger. Uh, Ardo Mirabellis, uh, certified public accountant specializing in the media and entertainment industry. Darwin Quirino, communications officer and upper department of foreign affairs of Middle East and African Affairs. Manal Sugadol, a Matutanawan Tausog licensed English teacher and administrative assistant from Bangsamar Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Uh, Lariz, or Easy Lee. <laughs> Finest Filipino and our, of course, Jenny Artist Center Public Relations Executive. Oh, Edward Faraon, a 17-year-old and senior high school campus journalist. And of course, last but not the least, Gerald Poy, former TV reporter, road safety advocate, and vlog and vlogger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, para mas malaman pa natin kung ano nga ba ang stand for truth at para mas makilala pa natin ating mga hosts and reporters, the floor is now open for question and answers with our bloggers. Sigur better kung pa. Why did you want to be uh, a reporter? And um, is, was there an instance uh, in your life? I mean, outside of ano, outside of the ano na mismo yung practical or field work, na yung news came to you, for example, uh, na padaan kayo, tapos let's say may vehicular accident, ganun. so may ganun bang instance sa life nyo? Yun. Madrama um, niya, tapos niya. Kahit sino ko ba niya sa mabot? Sure. Sige. Mas lamay ko, ako si Ismanal from Cotabato. Yes, uh, yung isang instance na kumbaga naging importante sa akin na bakit, kaila, bakit gusto, kong sumal, uh, gusto kong pumasok sa isang uh, uh, platform na ganito is yung una, yung sa nangyari yung plebiscite sa amin sa Bangsamoro region. Kumbaga, um, kulang kasi yung access ng mga tao sa, sa plebiscite sa canvassing unit. And at that time, kumbaga with my phone, with the... Ano to, with the internet connection at the same time, you access na makapasok doon sa canvassing unit. Kung baga, nagamit ko yung phone na yun eh para mag-livestream at the same time, makita ng mga ibang pangsamoro outside doon sa canvassing unit kung ano talaga yung nangyayari. Kasi kung baga, with that, ano, with that instance, um, naging accessible yung, ano, yung information, 
mas naging uh, interactive yung ano yung yung mga tao for example nagiging aware sila na bakit ganito yung counting bakit parang uh, ano na ba naging ano naging nag-question yung tao and yun yung maganda kapag uh, nabibigyan natin sila ng chance na malaman directly ang yung information and with this platform kapag mas uh, mas mararamdaman natin o mararamdaman ng lahat na yung story na yun is hindi lang para dun sa mga may access na dun sa information kundi para sa ating lahat So yun yung use no ano no ng ganito nga platform and that would be all thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Yung iba pa daw kung may gusto ko ka. I think I did you become ano as a reporter na question nga eh may real life experience kay na news kay na news. Um para mo lang naman ako ng na decent na story na biglang boom gusto ko maging journalist. Uh, ako pala si Anthony, by the way. Uh, reporter na rin ako before, pero in, sa ibang platform. Uh, I just remember, uh, yung mother ko kasi, meron siyang pwesto, sa tind meron siyang tindahan sa may palengke namin. At dun sa harap ng store ng mother ko, merong tindahan ng uh, tinapa. At ang tinapa, ano pong balit sa kanya? Jaryo. So dun ako natutong magbasa ng Jaryo. Dun ko naging favorite yung sa Bungitin, Philippine Daily Inquirer, so naging reporter. Ako ng online platform nila, and nahon yung skills ko through campus journalism. And meron tayong isa from, nasa campus journalist din dito, so malaking bagay yun. Gusto ko maging journalist kasi gusto ko bigyan ng linaw yung mga nangyayara sa bayan natin. Yun na po. Uh, wala rin wala rin yung kaya Gerald. Wala rin naman ako na iso na storya na nag-trigger sa akin para maging journalist. Pero uh, dati na akong journalist, pero ang um, siguro yung matatanong sa akin bakit ako, bakit ko uh, nag-decide na bumalik at mag-try dito sa Stanford Youth. So tingin ko po kasi ako personally, uh, I'm bisexual. So I want someone, uh, I, I want na uh, ma-inspire din para magkaroon ng representation po sa media. Usually, um, uh, Their uh, LGBT people are stereotyped as comedians. Parang they're not aware of na Pero hindi naman mga LGBT people na concerned sa mga social issues. So, possible rin na gusto ko nang ma-distigmatize yung mga issues like HIV and ma for um, na bring into light yung mga issues like gender discrimination. Uh, hello, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh from uh, Marawi City po, as Marian Labaw. Uh, dagdag ko lang po doon sa sinabi ni Manal na we are in the southern part of the Philippines and ako din po, isa din po akong aktivista, ang dami kong reklamo sa gobyerno, ang dami kong, uh, sometimes ang dami kong kinokwestiyon sa government, bakit ganon, bias, hindi siya naririnig, no? So ngayon nagkaroon ako ng chance na uh, ikwento kung ano man yung mga positive uh, image ng uh, ng uh, Muslim community in the South and uh, uh, we are now looking forward na matanggap nyo kung sino man yung mga tao sa Bangsamoro, makilala, makilala nyo kami ng todo through uh, not only in the uh, uh, national or mainstream community but uh, in the global scale na makilala nyo ang Bangsamoro as we now in the new Bangsamoro government that we are uh, tracking right now. So thank you so much for that. <laughs>